fuck Bonnie and Clyde. It's a Connie thing. Now, if you get conned, you're not conned, you're Connie. It's a Connie thing. See, what happens is if you if if you get caught if you get caught con lacking like if you get caught in a situation this is the way Connie would try to explain it based off of the original Bonnie and Clyde when they're at the airport and you know, like they're trying to, they're casually just walking up to the airplane and like, but they're not actually like going through the terminal. They're like actually like on the ground and then they're like, they make it look like they're like two people like like on a like a honeymoon or something and then the airplane person is like gonna get them um to the their destination it's like they miss they're late for their flight you know cause she's really bad at explaining things and then causes a distraction and then he usually knocks someone out and then uh pretends to be one of the employees to get in you know like kind of like explaining it like this she she's like she's from boston you know what i'm saying from ottawa from ottawa not from boston so the thing is when <laughs> And she'd be trying to do that because, you know, if, when you're from Boston or Ottawa, whichever one, one of them is really bad at doing the other impression. Depends on which side you're on, I guess. It depends on who you ask and, and who's doing the impression. Who would it's really. So basically, there's two people going through the airport terminal, right? And then the people think, okay, this is Bonnie and Clyde, right? So they go arrest them, but they don't realize that the two people who are like, please wait like we're about to get married but we we're late for our flight we have to make it because da, 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 da. and then it's like a romantic scene where they're getting to the uh airport or to the airplane but like they're taking them like down on the uh like on the ground level right without going through security and everything so they can bring their tommy guns and <laughs> all their <laughs> weapons and stuff right now that's like the portrayal that they're putting on to everybody else but in reality they'd be like knocking out it'd, it'd be like some <laughs> Uh, Indiana Jones type stuff, you know what I'm saying? They'd be like knocking people out, like killing people, like taking the jobs and stuff, and then, you know, like being able to get like, like some like Harley, like some like, what you call it? Yeah, like some Harley Quinn, like, like uh, hyena type stuff on a plane, like dangerous animal transport, some Jurassic Park type stuff, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. <laughs> they'll make it look like some like Dear John type thing. <laughs> But they'll actually be like killing people in the woods and like swapping places with them. It's like white people with like KKK and black, like, you know, burning them and burning the houses down, all that type of stuff. So, what happens is when Bonnie and Clyde are like casually walking, right? But they're mob bosses, so they're walking with their, and they're always original, so they're wearing their original costume, you know, like Luigi and um, his boyfriend uh, Mario, Bonnie and Clyde, right? So. <laughs> Not Yoshi and Mario, right? It's two different things. Yoshi and Mario are original. Luigi and Mario, aka Luigi and Mar Wario, right? Yeah, gay lovers. Anyways, I mean homophilic lovers. So, <laughs> yeah, that's not the same type of thing. Same type of vehicle. One's like, what, a chopper? One's like a warthog or something like that? Not a boar. You know, you got a boar and you got a warthog or something like that. Anyways, the point is, they'd be walking with their coats, their long, their long, uh, uh, gown coats because they're not trench coats they're gowns right because they were never in the trenches so <laughs> they walk with their gowns right and then their um hoods and then their weird hats which aren't cowboy hats they're inspector hats now <laughs> inspector hats aren't like actual cat like they're not they're not actual hats those are cats you know what i'm saying so <laughs> they they got their big cigars and like their weird beige colored stuff but it's actually gray but the, it looks kind of beige, but it's gray. And then they got usually some black underlying wear. And then they got their mysterious dark looks sometimes, but then they're always like pleasant when you're talking to them. But otherwise, they always got these dark shady looks. <laughs> so you can't really see them a lot of times because they're always shading. They're always shading things. That's a Connie thing, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta, you gotta be from Boston or Ottawa. They're, they're never direct, is the point. <laughs> Actually, no, they are direct. They're just very... They don't answer things correctly. They don't actually directly give you the answer to your question at any point in time ever. So they give you the wrong answer, actually. They always give you the wrong answer. It's really the point, actually. Now, when they're walking and they look like they're in love, but they actually are walking in mob boss mode to the air, to the plane, and then they get caught, right? But then it's like the runaway lovers get caught. There's always like a million people they're setting up to steal all, like it's like a whole banking heist thing, right? So they, what they, what they do is, or like a whole terrorist operation, you know? So what they do is like, 
when they get caught, that's when their Ocean's Eleven scheme or Ocean's whatever scheme where people think they have to remember the right Ocean's movie or whatever it, to catch these, I don't know, it's like a whole thing. And it's not really that big of a deal. The whole point is they can never really get tried that well, or they can never really get tried because like people have to actually say that they're Connie. But the thing is, if she's Connie and if she's impersonating people, you can't say that you're Connie because she's Connie. Now the whole point is you have to spell it correctly and then you have to directly hand it to them. But if you do that, you don't get your hand back, which is why they can't really. But the thing is, is that's not always true. So if they have handed it delivered and they have missed their court date and impersonate other people, you also then can go and say that, hey, you are Connie without impersonating them or doing an impression. The thing is, it's just you're notifying. Actually, no, you know, is it? You're notifying everybody that that has already been completed. And you can only notify someone of something when you, who are not impersonating anyone, has done your actual, what you're actually doing, which is not, like, what, what you're actually doing correctly. Like, that's really it. And so when you say, hey, this person's a Connie, right? Do you know what that means? Usually they're delinquent or they're running away because they never actually like became literate or been able to remember one phone book number still. Or one phone number still. It's just like... <laughs> when, when, you got, when you gotta get Connie, you gotta catch Connie. Apparently you have to catch Connie to be able to catch anyone who's doing impersonation. So... <laughs> That's not true. Now, you just have to spell it correctly, which isn't even, like, you just, it, it's very obvious what they're doing. Now, the whole thing is it's not which movie or Mish Ocean's, it's how they're spelling the word ocean, because ocean is with a S, not a C, right? So it doesn't matter which one, because they're spelling it incorrectly the whole time. Now, is Connie spelled with a C, a K, or a Q? Well, it's obviously spelled with a Q, right? Q, O, like Koine Greek, you know? Because to get the whole Kani, you have to get the whole Greek language or the Koine, Koentel, right? The Koine, Koine. Like a co yeah, a coincidence, which coincidence, coincidences don't exist, which is what people most likely think is a contradiction. Now, coincidence is non-existent. The CIA never created the term conspiracy, or said someone, they created this term consp conspiracy theory, they created the term coincidence. Now, when you have that under your vocabulary belt, then you are not under CIA, MK, or COINTELPRO, not MKUltra necessarily. You could be under MKUltra, that one's just the thing. Coincidences, exa exactly, are not existent. So, a Connie, right, is also an escaped <laughs> prisoner, <laughs> okay? Now, when you figure out how to spell the word Connie correctly and hand it to the correct person, and then at the same time, that person has received that. <laughs> then the illusion, the ocean, whatever, <laughs> the amnesia, right? Because the movie is called Amnesia or is it called Deja Vu? They get those things confused, right? Because Deja Vu is healthy, amnesia isn't, right? So, Connie gets caught in her Connie or Avril Lavigne or whatever the thing is and now when that happens right all of their whole empire crumbles the crackers all crumble because it's not a house of cards it's a house of crackers right because of their weird business model that never actually works and it's always a Fabergé or actually a babushka doll not a Fabergé egg it's a babushka doll or something right not an onion because onions are healthy a babushka doll is like is a, what they call a Trojan horse right <laughs> but it's like a nightmare doll but it's not a nightmare because a nightmare is actually a horse or a black horse and a black horse is only ridden by so-called black samurai which are black people which are only from the black land who speak a black language called blacklish or english right and so now or angel no english now this is the thing right when <laughs> connie is done conning and she gotta flip those little coins and stuff like you know when she's like when she's kneeling down and doing the little hand warming thing, like the chimney sweep thing, but for, you know, chimney sweeps are never women for some reason, it's always, it's always men, so it's like, the women usually be doing the hand thing right beside the fire, and then they'd be doing the finger, like they'd be doing the, they'd be doing like the coin, they're not really coins, or the Connie flip, the coin flip, <laughs> right by the fire, and then they'd be trying to warm their hands up, 
and they always forget that when they're in a home that isn't theirs, that after the 1800s, chimney sweeps don't aren't chimney sweeps anymore, right? Like, because that's like a racist, like, if you don't know, it's extremely racist. There was like a whole thing called a war, and there's people here, and like, things happen. So, like, after that, <laughs> they made sure that there's this thing called internal home ventilation, which doesn't use uh, <laughs> chimneys, which create problems like the bubonic plague of hiding their bodies and stuff that turn into skeletons that eventually rot and create bubonic plague problems and like gargantua uh, problems, which are in arachnids and they are spiders, which we already explained. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> these types of things are right, usually have to get kept, cleaned out by those same type of people who <laughs> cause those type of problems, who are clearly creating terroristic, invasive and threats and you know, these type of things. Now, when she does it a little coin flip by the fire and she's trying to warm up, <laughs> she's doing the colony flip. She's trying to look into the fire because you don't look into a crystal ball to actually see people's faces and stuff. You usually use a fire because a fire is a good representation of how a phone works and how they connect two individuals in different locations together. Now, when you have a fire and another person has a fire, you send a smoke signal. No, you send a radio frequency that gets amplified by the smoke release. Now, that carbon connects the two people together in what's called a biological reaction, not a chemical reaction, okay? And then there's this thing called a biological interaction that if you are a biological or a living thing, which means you're active and you're able to do this thing called stand and walk and speak and things like that, what happens is you're able to communicate to other people who are in the exact same location. And if you're really low on energy, you can burn things in a fire and get your energy back to normal. And most people who call so-called like, a, you know, a teepee, which is like people say a tent at home, all that dumb what can you do is you can actually amplify that into a space where yeah not carbon monoxide point i'm not talking about suicide so or, so when what you can do is you can actually amplify her so if you don't know how to use fire definitely don't do these type of things if you're not a scout like any of these types of things or went through any of that if you're actually not from here or have that type of actual personal so you can amplify that ability to actually communicate with other people and everything around you now <laughs> What does smoke do? It clears out a space. This is why a fireplace exists because it represents something that exists in the human body. Now, when <laughs> you have an internal home ventilation system, there's no need for that because in the 1800 book, again, it explains why for everybody who's here, why <laughs> this is a thing. Now, everyone who's from or who's been here, they don't, you know what? <laughs> Now, every time they run these cons, they get stuck at a certain level because they don't realize certain things because of like, they don't know what's behind the walls because they didn't build or they, they're not actually the people who own that home, like on Home Alone and stuff like that, right? They're always trying to steal the house. And Macaulay Culkin is like, this is my home. <laughs> They're the one people were talking and one, one person was speaking. <laughs> Those are two different things. So it looks like the Carters, like Aaron Carter's mom or wife, whichever one is Aaron Carter at this point, it's the dad or the son. <laughs> It's not enough time for this. <laughs> Mrs. Carter, or Miss Carter. Yeah, you don't want to mess that up because there's a difference between Miss and Miss. And if you're from here, you would know that. And people are real personable about that. So Miss Carter is clearly in Home Alone. <laughs> and is clearly dealing with situations like that. Or in like Independence Day, and you know, things like that. If you don't know the Carters, you're probably not from here as well. Because people like that actually interact with people who are here and from here and all that. So let's keep going. Now, when you have... <laughs> So sometimes they might not be in one location and they might travel and then get back to that same location or return to that location and expect to, because they bring more back, bring more with them. They expect more things to be here, but when things are different, they get kind of confused why people don't even know who they are, which is why they start questioning, like, why there are no communal activities, why there is no communication, why there is no actual original people from the community except a few people. <laughs> like, they get kind of confused about these things and why everybody else kind of doesn't really, sounds like it, it follow the original plan of what is established here and what actually follows the natural guidelines of the actual nature of the environment because that's how you know communities work to build on natural infrastructures that's how you build an infrastructure is to preserve the natural infrastructure and also uh, structure things in a way that actually 
amplify the growth of that natural infrastructure, not destroy it or harm it in any type of way, because it's obviously a lot easier to build a home than it is to grow a tree, because think about how long it takes to do either one. Now, <laughs> this is the thing, right? <laughs> when we understand resources and value, there's obviously one way that the economy works, or what is called the economy and determining value. Tree, obviously more valuable than house, because tree produces house. Now, how long does it take to produce a tree, and how long does it take to have a house? Now, if you have the technology to produce all this type of stuff, the most important thing would already be to produce the tree so which is why you already know the indigenous people know, that are already from here are already way more advanced than everybody else because if they're coming here to get resources that mean that they already ran out of stuff and they knew people already still had stuff here so that's clear that that's why they weren't even producing resources in the first place okay so let's keep going now connie who clearly just burns down trees and puts them in places that they shouldn't be right to create problems like blocks obviously know what they're doing this is why they impersonate other people because they've already been caught doing other things and they're on the run or they're trying to set up multiple people at the same time to cause multiple chain explosions to create multiple infrastructure failure to create like sinkholes and like a lot of different things and like you know earthquake like so many different problems around in so many different ways and explosions and different infrastructural systems and mainframe failures and um swapping people out doing like mass operations all these different things right so when <laughs> You literally understand that because literacy means to literally actually do things, right? Not reality, like reality TV actually means to actually do things. Like if you see a video of someone shaking someone's hand, that's a reality. That's a reality. When the person actually, the person's actually shook another person's hand, that's an actual thing that happened. So if you're actually there, then there's a difference, okay? So when you have people who do this thing called the Connie, right? They don't actually do the things that they say that they're doing to get the people they're trying to set up to do those things, which is why they call it a witch hunt, right? Now it's illegal to impersonate a witch in Canada because of how it is inherent to the location that we are from or we are in. Now, that's not just applied in Canada, that's applied in America because it's a literal American law. Now, when you impersonate a witch, right? <laughs> and you burn things like trees, and then you do this thing called a connie, right? And cause these things called witch hunts, which is to cause indigenous or so-called black people, or what y'all call so-called gangs, to fight each other when no one's killing each other. It's the people who came here and raped and pillaged people and pretended they gave the KKK to wear hoods to pretend to be other people to, you know, like if I pretend to be, um, if I wear a hood and I wear a mask and I pretend to be uh, a penguin and a penguin shoots the shoots the gorilla, then now gorillas are now well actually gorillas aren't violent so they wouldn't even do anything in response now <laughs> see this is the thing now if they just keep doing this and putting on a reality show and it's all and people aren't even re responding like that and then they start putting, you know putting like electroshock therapy on gorillas and stuff and making them do things that they wouldn't do or bears and things like that and go against the original treaty to preserve the infrastructure of the land and all the animals and all the things that are actually from here whether or not you like the word animals or not or for, that semant or for semantical er error we know what we're speaking of so this is the thing right <laughs> yeah and it does not mean like people that you turn into animals it's those things that we call by actual uh, like things that are netters from nature nature i create a lot of problems and the whole thing is connie who's a bunny if you think about the word connie it's to flip the coin heads or tails aka bunny ears two or one tail the truth or the lie not the red pill or the blue pill now they say a silver coin or a coin represents the moon and the silver is the color of the moon that's what they say and then that on the moon there's a so-called bunny and then that the bunny has two sides but you never see the other side because a connie can always choose the side of the coin that they're using because it's they use what a one-sided coin okay now a one or a one face coin which means both or sorry a one Wait, it's not called a con me. It'd be a called a con, con, like a, a cone, C O N E, or a con, con, con. So, 
Now, the point of that is when you start to pronounce the word correctly, it misrepresents the, per the person who's supposed to be directed. The criminal charges do. <laughs> so, if that is a literal way to mock so-called witchcraft, so-called, well, witchcraft is like a mockery of that. Anyways, with the moon being supposedly a witchcraft, and then the silver, which is supposedly, and all these things are supposed to be like Jim Crow type of, these type of things. Jeepers creepers type of things, right? Make you afraid of your own items by making, by using them for their non-intended purposes. Those are not just acts of terrorism, they're acts to reinforce terrorism with weapons formed from parts of you and your resources and your items and your stuff. And the point is, Connie and Tommy or whoever, Con Bon Connie and Clyde or Bonnie and Clyde, whatever they are. Bonnie and Bonnie and Connie. Is it Bonnie and Clyde. Okay. Not Tommy because the Tommy gun would probably be taken from Tommy. So like, like we were just saying about all that. Now, when you. When you realize that it's Wario and Mario, <laughs> Mar not Lu or Mario and Luigi, whatever it is, and not not Mario and Luigi, but Mario and War, it's the wrong ones, right? So Wario and Mario, and not Yoshi and Luigi. So we got Mario Wario and their weird boar hog weird thing, whatever that thing is. And you have Yoshi, Luigi, Kirby, you know what I mean? <laughs> like you have kind of like that, that side of things. Now, they're not opposites or anything like that. The point is that Bonnie, <laughs> Connie, whatever they are, it's two men <laughs> doing the crap, the cl the, the doing whatever it is because of how they, that's just what it is so when you direct it to a woman even when it's a woman doing the crime it goes against also supposedly the said laws that they're trying to de destroy which are come from the actual infrastructure of the location so this is the thing Originally, people didn't wear straight jackets and go into hospitals and stuff like that, or go into rooms and weird stuff like that. They put people put masks on people. They were like made of wood and stuff like that. It's quite weird, but they would hold people. It's kind of like in dentistry, you know. What? They, it's like they would hold people's facial structure in to the actual position their face is supposed to be or is, and they would hold it there no matter what happens until the person's energy actually forms around what their face actually is supposed to look like. For example, if someone did that type of thing and formed a person into something they should not be or be like. Now, that's usually the type of methodology that these type of people would use for their own people for rehabilitation when after going through abuse that someone that they consider per close with them has has done to them, has done stuff to them. They they'll, they use that as a form of recovery so that they can be able to handle more of that and then they call it reinforcement training or you can call it growth and that's not growth, that's literally uh, reinforcing uh, a structure through repetitive abuse of trauma. 
and that's not in, that's not the same as uh, like a static mainframe and all that other type of stuff. No. I think I might be happy. The point is, if they're making, they're turning dudes into females. That's why the one dude looks like Bowser or something. <laughs> and that, all right, but it's not Bowser, keep in mind. <laughs> so he's trying to take out Bowser. <laughs> Bowser got nothing to do with that. But, um, yeah, Bowser got nothing to do with that. So, Wario looks like, you know, whatever. And then he'd be turning, like, Wario's into Peaches or something like that. Or Mario's into Peaches or something like that. Now, that's what a Connie is. An impersonation is impersonation. Now, you don't have to explain a Connie to a Connie for them to be caught for impersonation. 